welcome back to Heather's Crafty Classroom. Today I just want to show you a mini album that I made as a gift. I have a co-worker friend that is getting ready to have a baby and I really wanted her to wanted to make her a book. So let me show you what I did. So I had two of these. I had made these a while ago and they were just, I call them naked. It's a naked chipboard. And it only had one page, and I said, mm, I think I could do something. So the one I used was brown, and then this one is black. So I think I'll try to do something Christmassy with this one. I'm not sure, but i got to work on that one next. So this is what I made. She's having a baby boy. And oh my gosh, I am in love with this album. It is so cute. So the book itself measures five and a half by eight and a half, oh, by eight, and has a one inch spine, one and a quarter inch spine. So, sorry, that was loud. Um, so I just think it's so cute. And this is the back. I did the hexagons in big, though, and have my little sticker. Um, I just love the way it turned out. It's pretty chunky, but there's still quite enough room for lots of pictures. And then you can see I have ribbon on top and bottom. So I'll show you what that is once I get inside. So this is what it looks like when you open it up right away. It says boy here. And it has a pocket. And in the pocket I put one of the cut aparts and I matted it and then two more. So she could put lots of pictures in here. Lots and lots. And then this one, I love this little cut apart. Hello, I'm new here. Just thought that was so cute. And this is a belly band, and I made it into a little folding so you can put, she can put four more pictures on there if she wants. So then this one opens up, it's magnetized. And for photos, 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 and a waterfall down the middle. And I didn't mat the back just because it was getting really thick, but she can put pictures on both sides. And another one here. My camera is getting all funky. All right. Then on the top of this one, that's where the first bow is, the ribbon. And it looks like a tag, but it does open up for pictures. And this is opened up so she can put the picture right under there. And she can put more on the back if she wanted to. And then when you flip the page, this is my favorite. I hope I can get it in frame. Um, it's a snuggle bug and this is open too. So she has the full four by six photo will fit her just fine. It's meant for the four by six. And then when you untie the bottom here, I just untied it. Let's see if it'll fit. It pops up and these hold four by four, four by four photos. At the top, it says, oh baby. And at the bottom, she can put another photo there. I just think that's so cute with four by fours. I've never done one with four by fours. Usually they're four by fives or something else odd. Um, over here, back cover, it has a magnet. It's just a little pocket. Look how cute this paper. And then it has just regular two four by six photo mats. No trimming needed for those. So it holds quite a few photos. It's really cute. I'm loving it. I can't wait to make the other one, the black one, in um, in Christmas, I think, since it is the time for Christmas, as you all see. On Facebook, I've put up most of my trees. I have one more to go, and I'm tired today. I think I'd rather scrapbook. So it's not happening today. So anyway, I think this turned out really cute for just one signature in the book. I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Um, I think when, once he's born, I'm going to offer to put his name on the spine. Just as a, because it's cute. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope she likes it. I'm not going to post this until after she gets it. I don't think she follows me, but just to make sure. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. I love it all. Thank you, guys. Bye.